All right, welcome back everyone, Zaf here. Oh my goodness, six hours have elapsed since you are playing the game. Ooh, yikes. But anyways, welcome back everyone with another BOT guide right here for SLA. Hopefully this will help you get a ranked in one spot, or at least help you get a pretty good ranking. Overall, I would say this is one of my least favorite BOTs ever. What a pain. The first phase just sucks. I hate it. The rest of the phases are fine, but let's just go into the guide. I'll show you the build, the hunters you can use, some alternatives, and the battle itself, of course. But really quick, if you enjoy guides like these, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, but also make sure to support us as well on Netmarble's free supporter program. You get free codes from supporting us on the website, so you do not want to miss out. Links up will be down below, of course, and your codes we found right here after you support. Takes a little while, but you will get the code sent to you under your My Page section. And really quick, a shout out to Rocky from your first commenter for the first time in our last video. Here is your shout to enjoy that juicy Discord roll. So for my Randy Hunters, I chose our Malin, Alicia, and Jiwoo. That's the setup I use, but if you're missing, let's say, Malin, you can use Min. And if you're missing, let's say Jiwoo, you can use Nam instead. She is a fantastic breaker. A lot of you might not have Jiwoo now because she's no longer in the meta, especially for a new player, so you probably have Nam advanced up, so a fantastic alternative for this, of course. And honestly, if you want, it's not a must, but if you find you need a few more seconds on your time, you can get a weapon as well. Gives an okay effect, so look into it, but you don't have to get it, of course. So for my run, basically, we have a support, we have a breaker, and we have a DPS. That's what I ran if you're a whale. What you can do as well is run Malin, run Alicia, and run Min as well. No breaker needed at all for maximum DPS, so give it a try. But those are loadouts I found that work the best, at least for me. For my shadows, very obvious. We're using Tusk to get that core damage in. We have Serbi for that 5% passive damage increase, and we use Iron. For defense reduction, this is what I found to be the ideal setup. If you don't have one of these shadows here, you can use Kaisel. Kaisel is very, very strong. Fantastic damage from them, so you can substitute one of them for Kaisel. If you don't have Tusk, you can use someone like Igris. You can use Blades, up to you. Those would be the best alternatives for him. And as for artifact sets, here's what I ran. Basically, Guardian set because. Alicia will have a lot of shields applied to her, so we do want that easy 10% damage will increase. They don't have to wear this set effect for it to apply, so we are good to go in that regard. I also use the Aquamarine set. This gives us a 28% attack increase insane. This happens when tagging out, so a super easy effect to get off, of course. And for Alicia, we're running the Toughness set and Curse. The problem for Alicia is there's not too many sets right now, that I really found useful for this run, that she can use at least in BOT, of course. So honestly speaking, we only have Toughness, we have Curse, we uh, don't have too much else. You could try using Soul Foundation, but not as strong in my opinion. The crit rate and crit damage bonus is quite OP, at least for BOT. So give it a try, it does help out a lot, and since we're not using the Curse set for the initial set, that being for the armor set, we can use in the accessory slot, giving us a 20% damage increase and the sacking effect, absolutely perfect. And lastly for Jiwoo, very very simple, we're running the cell analysis set to give her more break, very important, we want to break the boss ASAP and for the other set, what I chose is the self blessing because we do use Jiwoo's QT skill once, at least I did, if you don't feel like that set is working for you, you can honestly just go an 8 set burning greed set, that can work out pretty darn good. Though besides that, I don't see too many other potentials. This is what I ran. This turned out the best result for me, but if you want to change it, go ahead. Again, I'm just showing you what worked best for my run. And when it comes to cores, there's really only one valuable core you should really focus on. That being this one right here. Slap it onto Alicia to get that 5% increase in attack, but make sure you have the water version equipped. Otherwise, you're not getting that passive off. And 5% is a lot. The subsets don't matter, it's only the passive that applies, of course. And of course, for this core right here, you want this one equipped because we're getting a 10% shield applied, meaning the Guardian set effect goes off, and we do use Leisha's ultimate skill, so very easy. Make sure you have this one equipped instead of this one right here because, yeah, we don't need a damage reduction. We want the shield for the 10% Guardian damage bonus. 
And if you have a mana issues, this core right here is best to use. When you use ultimate skill, you get 5% of your mana back, so pretty darn good if you ask me. Otherwise, for other hunters, you can just copy these, it won't really make an effect, because Alicia is the only one that really needs her cores. But yeah, that should be the build, let's hop into the actual run, so you can see what we did. Because like I said before, I am not a fan of this BOT version at all, it is one of my least favorites thus far. Alright, so let me show you the battle now, at 0.5% speed because I do want to commentate over it. So, first off, you spawn of Malin, and then you want to run to this mob right here. So dash, 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 run to it, and then once you're there, what you want to do is use her first skill, her first basic skill, the Q, use it, apply the bonuses, and then immediately swap into Alicia. That'll make sure she gets the 20-ish percent bonus when it comes to attack from the Aquamarine set. So you saw that we swapped, attack increase, you do not need a QT, that's a waste of time so. Once you swap in, you want to use her Q next. You want to stun lock this target right here, you'll see. Use her Q, stun locked, and now you just want to run around. Yes, that's right. That's why I do hate this BOT stage because the mob RNG is heavily dependent on how you do in your run. So once they're grouped up, you basically want to attack them all at once. That way you ensure a fast time. So as you can see, I'm running around side to side just a little bit, waiting for them to group up. And once they're grouped up, what you're going to do is obviously use her number one AoE skill, that being her E. So this skill should hit a lot of the mobs right there as you saw, should kill most of them off, if not don't worry, you can auto attack, then there's these mobs right here, that's where you use the rest of your passive, getting those enhanced attacks off, and then, when this mob spawns right here, you want to use your Q and, of course, star auto attacking, that way you can clear it, but obviously as you saw there, a weird interaction on this run, no problem, so we're gonna use our Q, cause I was like, what's going on here? Use our Q, auto attack, easy peasy. And if I say auto attack, I mean basic attack, just a bad habit of mine. But anyways, as you saw there, this run, the first and second phase can be done in probably around 15-ish seconds. So 18 seconds is just okay. You can do it much, much faster. Now in this phase, what you wanna do is basically use GU's QT skill because we get that Sylph's Blessing passive off giving us 5% bonus elemental type damage, exactly what we want to do. So you'll see here, I'm going to do this once he dashes to the side so I don't miss and you want to lock into the target. On PC, use your right click to lock in. On mobile, I believe there's a button on the screen right around here. So make sure you press it. So I press that, I lock in and then I use my QT, make sure Jiwoo hits the target and boom hits him. And now just try to break as fast as he can. Use your E, use your Q, use your basic attacks, get the resets off, and use your shadows to get those stacks off early when it comes to bonus damage and defense decrease, of course. You will end up breaking target pretty quickly, so be ready. You are going to do a lot of swaps for this run to maximize 100 damage, of course. No QTs, just a lot of swaps. And you do want to make sure you dodge your target's attacks. As you saw there, we dodge your target's attack because if you get hit, well, it's really going to stall your run. Not good. You want to make sure you dodge out dodge, it's not easy, but you will get the hang of it. And we're just breaking the target here, break, 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 almost there, pretty annoying target. As you saw there, he ran to the back, how lame, not to the side, which you usually expect, but that's okay. So we're going to break him right here, extreme evasion when we can, and boom. Now, what you want to do is, you can preemptively swap, but in this case I didn't, because the target moving there really juked me out. But here you'll see we're going to swap into Malin, of course. Boom. Not QT, but just regular swap. We're going to get our Q off, use our E, and then use the core tank right over here. And then we're going to swap in QT this time. That way we get the passive sacks and use our Q, use our basic attacks, correctly applying her passive, as you saw there. Very, very simple. Though it's very easy to mess up these sacks right here, don't worry. Practice makes perfect, of course. Just make sure you have the right sacks off to get the most value from the effect. So here we're going to use our core attacks to get a ton, and I mean a ton of damage off, oh baby, in here. We're going to ultimate, get those sacks back off, and do the same thing. Make sure to use your attacks, that way those sacks are used, you'll see here. Just give it a second, the sacks are up, and boom, we use them here. And what you want to do now is, in my case, even though I'm whale, I did not one-shot the target, so... I do have to really watch out. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to swap into Jiu shortly. So you see here, 
I'm gonna try to break the target all the way down, but I can't, so I use the last of my skills, and then I swap the Jiwu and use her ultimate, dealing even more juicy damage, boom, and use her E, use her Q before the totems do come out, and yeah, not a bad run. Probably could have maximized the damage on Alicia a bit more, but that's okay. You can learn from my mistakes, of course, and remember, if the totems do come up, focus them first because the boss goes into that invincibility stage, which really is super annoying. But yeah, that was a run. Hopefully it helped just a little bit. This BOT does suck, so don't worry. If you're having a tough time, it's just one of the harder ones we've had in a long time. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop me a like. Make sure to subscribe and do support us on MRW's free supporter program. That way I can send you codes directly to you. All the links are down below. This is a code King Zaf signing out.